Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to auto fit or auto scale or zoom an image in web view of your Android app. So let's begin. We will create a new project and auto fit image in web view. You can name this app anything. Let the environment load up. Once the environment loads up, I think first and foremost what I'll do is I'll start it in an emulator. I'll load the emulator also on the right hand side. Let it do it in parallel. And let me start the coding. So first and foremost what I'll do is I will update the manifest file so that my app can access internet. So just put the user permissions as internet and that's it. You don't have to define anything in the Java uh, uh, code. Manifest file itself is sufficient. Okay, so I'll just minimize this. Let the emulator come up now what i do is in the layout file i'll implement my uh, yeah, design so which will consist of uh, what probably one plain text which will take the url i can probably make it a little bit bigger yeah so that is visible okay and this will be this edit text box We'll take my URL. I'll just put some constraints. I don't think I need this. Text refactor. Okay, and I think I'll have to give some int. If I scroll down, the yeah, hint over here is there. So URL perfect. Okay, and then I'll need a button. So I'll just put a button to trigger. Uh, I'll do one thing i'll put two buttons one will be with uh, auto fit so i'll say this button as okay let me scroll up on the right hand side first let me give the constraints and this button will show with auto fit Okay, so this will show me with auto fit and one more button without auto fit. So I'll just make it a little bit bigger. So without auto fit, perfect. Now I'll get a web view. And yeah, let's put it here, give the constraints. Give the required ID so that we can fetch it from the uh, Java code. That's all I think from layout perspective. So I'll just quickly go to my Java code, and over here, first and foremost, I'll define two public methods for each of these. So public void button with auto fit. And another method will be without auto fit. So let's take the G, control V, and this will be without auto fit. And now I'll quickly go back to my layout and assign these methods over here in the on click attribute of this respective button. Perfect. Now, what I'll do is I will complete my code. It's pretty simple. So I'll just create a few class variables. One will be edit text. And the other one will be web view. Okay, I'll just stop defining. Perfect. Okay, now I'll just associate it. Find view by id r dot id dot edit text. Find view by id r dot id dot web view. Yeah. And now what I'll do is I will load the URL, load URL, and the string will be I'll get it from edit text. Just dot to string. Yeah. So this part of the code remains same for both with and without this one. However, to do the auto fit, what we will have to additionally do is we have to Set the settings. So first, I'll get the settings and set what load with override mode. So make it true over here. I think by default it's false, 
and also what else we need is we need another one to get settings dot set use while you code and this also I think requires a boolean input make it I think that's all let me try to rerun the code and see what happens I think I may have to do it false over here so okay let the code run in the meantime I'll show you something very quickly so in my uh, page in my on my website I have already uh, uploaded a test on my test page an image which will be using for this testing purpose so I will copy the address of the image so if I come here and over here say for example I just pasted that uh, string uh, the URL uh, text whatever I have copied which we will be using for our experiment purpose for testing purpose so let me go back to my uh, yeah, uh, environment so here I have I'm pasting the same string over here as well the URL string and first let me show without auto fit so let me see how it turns out so if you notice right now the image has come but it's not out of it right you have to scroll on this web view right you can visualize the whole but you have to scroll so let's see how it happens here perfect so if you see it out of it's now you can so yeah i think once these settings are done then it doesn't matter whether you click it again or not so for that what we'll have to do we'll have to set this as false over here then we can see the difference of these two APIs. Control C, Control V. Yeah. Let me read on it. So I will just start with without auto fit. So then it's auto fit now. So it's without auto fit. So because this settings changes, uh, uh, yeah, it removes that auto fit option. So that's all I wanted to show that it's easy to create an auto fit or auto scale. Uh, view on your web view uh, page just by setting these two uh, options as true in your auto fit yeah method so that's all i hope uh, i will provide all these uh, links also of this uh, uh, url what i have used for testing purpose purpose uh, in the uh, in the uh, description below so you can refer you can use that same url if you are doing some kind of uh, learning otherwise yeah, you can use your main image file for your uh, for this concept so that's all i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put in the comment section below and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day bye